Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended mod as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on a JC Wings ANA All Nippon Airways Airbus A3A-800 and their Flying Hanu Blue Sea Turtle Livery Scheme in a 1-200 scale model. This is my actually 11th ANA All Nippon Airways model overall and I pre-ordered and purchased this model from Waffle Collectibles whose store is based out of Riverside, California, here in the United States of America. And his website address is www.wafflecollectibles.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular model, allow me to share some information about the history of ANA All Nippon Airways and how they came about, if you would please. ANA All Nippon Airways is a Japanese based airline that was actually founded on December 27, 1952 as the airline actually traces its rooted beginnings back to its earliest ancestor, the Japan Helicopter and Aeroplane Transports Company, which is also known as Nippon Helicopter and Aeroplane, and officially commenced operations as a helicopter service sometime in February 1953, as passenger service officially begun one year later on February 1, 1954, when it flew from Osaka to Tokyo using an upgraded de Havilland Heroin twin-engine propeller driven British aircraft as it continued to operate under the Nippon helicopter and aeroplane name until December 1957 and that's when the company officially changed its name to what has become known today as ANA All Nippon Airways. ANA All Nippon Airways is currently the largest operating airline in the country of Japan based on fleet size, passengers carried, and destinations served as well as the ninth largest operating airline in the world in terms of generated revenue whereas the headquarters of ANA All Nippon Airways is located in the Shield Dome City Center Office Building Complex, which is actually located in the Shield Dome District area of Minato, Tokyo, Japan, while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of Tokyo Narita International Airport, which is located approximately 37 miles east of the Central District section of Tokyo, Japan, in the suburban Tokyo city of Narita, while the airline's main domestic hub and base of operation is located on the grounds of Tokyo Haneda International Airport, which is located approximately 8.7 miles south of the central district section of Tokyo, Japan, and the special war section of Ota. And the secondary hubs of ANA All Nippon Airways are located at Osaka Kansai International Airport, which is located in Osaka, Japan, and Osaka Atami Airport, which is located in the Hiogo Osaka Prefecture section of Osaka, Japan. And the focus city hubs of ANA All Nippon Airways are located at Nagoya Shibu Central International Airport, located in Nagoya, Japan. Naha Airport, located in Okinawa, Japan. And Sapporo New Chitose Airport, located in Sapporo, Japan. As of April 2020, or at the time of this video review person, ANA All Nippon Airways currently flies to 97 destinations across four inhabited continents in Asia, Europe, North America, Mexico, and Oceania with the operating fleet of 241 aircraft, which includes two Airbus A380-800 jetliner aircraft, including this one here. And in addition to the 241 aircraft that currently operates in the ANA All Nippon Airways fleet, the Japanese carrier also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 77 more aircraft, which includes one more Airbus A380-800 jetliner aircraft, and that aircraft, as we speak, is currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also, as of April 2020, or at the time of this video review posting, ANA All Nippon Airways is one of 10 airline carriers, along with Asiana Airlines, based out of Seoul, South Korea, Cathay Pacific, based out of Hong Kong, Eva Air, based out of Taipei, Taiwan, Garuda Indonesia, based out of Jakarta, Indonesia, Hainan Airlines, based out of Heiko, Hainan, China, Japan Airlines, also based out of Tokyo, Japan, Lufthansa, based out of Cologne, Germany, Qatar Airways, based out of Doha, Qatar, and Singapore Airlines, based out of Singapore, to actually hold this prestigious honor of operating as a certified five-star airline carrier, according to the international airline review firm, Skytrax Magazine, and the Air bus destination code for ANA All Nippon Airways on this particular aircraft is 41. Alright everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box you see here. Nothing much there except what you see there. You see the this one 200 scale model information there. The ANA billboard title, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the ANA inspiration of Japan slogan, 
the aircraft type Airbus A380 and the registration ship number JA381. I'm not going to let you see the back of the box. It ain't nothing much back there. It's pretty much blank, okay? Now you're looking at the, uh, the nice little model stand that actually came with the model. And then you see at the base of the model stand, you see the A&A &A billboard title, the aircraft type Airbus A380, and the scale model information 1200 you see at the bottom base of the model stand. And then you come right here, you see that black pad on top of the model stand. The purpose of that black pad and everyone is not only to prevent your model, but also protect your model from being damaged or scratched when you put your model on this particular model stand. And now you're looking at this plastic bag, and what you see in this plastic bag are the gear replacement doors featuring the two little toothpicks for these gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into detail for the purpose of these gear replacements for this particular model. And then it was also a commemorative card that was supposed to come with this model, but I didn't get one, but it's all good, all right? Okay, with all that information out of the way about the history of ANA on the Pond Airways and how they came about and still operating strongly to this very day, plus the little information you see at the front of the box, plus the model stand that came with the model, plus the plastic bag you see there with the gear replacement doors inside that plastic bag. And with no further ado, everyone, here is the model. Check it out. There it is. Now let's talk about uh, about how this particular aircraft, the Airbus A380-800 jetliner aircraft, came a part of ANA All Nippon's air fleet, okay? ANA All Nippon Airways officially became the first Japanese-based airline, as well as the 15th airline operator in the world of aviation that acquired this prestigious state-of-the-art double-decker jet liner aircraft as ANA All Nippon Airways took delivery of its first of three Airbus A380s that ANA All Nippon Airways had previously placed orders for back on January 29, 2016 and received their very first Airbus A380-800 aircraft which bared the registration ship number JA381A which happened to be this aircraft here at a special delivery ceremony that was held at the Airbus A380 Delivery Center facility in Toulouse, France on March 20, 2019 and touched down at Tokyo Narita International Airport in Tokyo, Japan on the following day of March 21, 2019. ANA's first validation flight on this aircraft took place on April 6, 2019, when it flew from Tokyo Narita International Airport to Nagoya Shibu Central International Airport in Nagoya, Japan, then was followed by a series of more validation test flights shortly thereafter, when it flew to Osaka, Kansai, and Honolulu, Hawaii, respectively, for flight certification purposes, while at the same time giving the maintenance crews, the flight crews, and the ground staff personnel time to get familiar with the aircraft before the actual international flight launch. ANA's first inaugural flight on this aircraft took place on May 24, 2019, and that's when ANA All Nippon Airways officially began utilizing this aircraft, the Airbus A380-800 jetliner aircraft, on its Tokyo Narita to Honolulu, Hawaii route, as the airline's fleet of three Airbus A380s would be utilized exclusively on this particular route, as the Airbus A380 will operate exclusively from the carrier's international base hub at Tokyo Narita International Airport in Tokyo, Japan, as ANA All Nippon Airways also has become the last new airline customer that placed the, the order for this aircraft type as Airbus had previously announced on February 14, 2019 that the aircraft manufacturer will shut down the Airbus A380 program for good which will eventually take place sometime in 2021. Now let's talk about the livery scheme you see displayed on it's called the Flying Hanu livery scheme. And prior to ANA All Nippon Airways receiving their very first Airbus A380 800 double decker jetliner aircraft on March 20, 2019, the Japanese base carrier decided to unveil a special customized livery scheme for this particular aircraft shortly after their very first Airbus A380 800 double decker jetliner aircraft had just rolled out of the aircraft manufacturer's paint shop facility, which is located in Hamburg, Germany, on December 13, 2018. And after ANA All Nippon Airways held a livery design contest for this particular aircraft back in January 2016, ANA announced and selected this specialized livery scheme, which was given the name the Flying Hanu Special Customized Livery Scheme in March 2017, 
as the name Hanu refers to a Hawaiian term which literally means sea turtles as the green sea turtles according to Hawaiian culture and tradition is also considered a sign of prosperity and good luck and the first color design was introduced was blue which pays homage to the Hawaiian blue sky while the emerald green livery design is inspired by the crystal clear waters of the Hawaiian Ocean and the orange livery design is a reference that's inspired by the beautiful Hawaiian sunset. ANA also created a character name for each aircraft. The blue character aircraft, which happens to be this particular aircraft here, is named Nwani, meaning the sky, while the emerald green character aircraft is named Kai, meaning the ocean, and the orange character aircraft is named La, from the Hawaiian word meaning sun. And to paint each aircraft of this magnitude in this specialized livery scheme, it actually took a personnel of 120 painters in 21 days to use 3,300 liters of paint, which is equivalent to about 872 U.S. gallons of liquid paint in 16 different colors to actually paint each ANA Airbus A380-800 double-decker jetliner aircraft, while the Flan Hanu slash Sea Turtle livery scheme was actually created and designed by a Tokyo, Japan resident who goes by the name of Shihiro Masiwuka. Okay, so with all that information out of the way about the, this, this aircraft, how it came a game changer in their fleet, as well as the livery design you see displayed there. So no further ado, let's get down to the nitty gritty and let me show you all the details on this aircraft now, shall we? Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the port slash left side. We're gonna start at the front nose gears you see here. The nose gear struts, the nose gear landing gear doors right there featuring the partial restraint ship number you see displayed there, 381. The Peter tubes and the static ports right there, the nose cone, the windshield wipers and the cockpit windows. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those later on in the review. And then you see the turtle eye right there which is impressive by the door. And then you see right there the star lines decal which is displayed right underneath, right underneath the belly right there. And ANA All Nippon Airways became the second Asian operator after Bangkok based Thai Airways International that joined the Star Alliance on October 15, 1999, which consists of 27 airline members from five inhabited continents. And this alliance includes Air Canada, Lufthansa, SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, Thai Airways International, as well as United Airlines as the five founding members. And then you see the inboard land light right there as well. All right, now we're at the center of the aircraft here on the port side still, and these engines you're looking at, these are the Rolls-Royce Trent 970 type engines that are used on this particular ANA All Nippon Airways Airbus A380-800 double-decker jetliner aircraft. You also see the engine cones right there as well as over here as well. Now I'm going to turn this aircraft model around which you see the front of the engines and the turbo fan blades do spin. Check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port side. We see the engine strikes above here as well as there. And the turbo fan blades do spin. Check it out. There as well as there. Perfect. And then you slide over this way. See the inboard landing light as well as the uh, landing bogey gears here. The front view of them includes the landing gear struts as well as the front landing gear door that little gear is a little challenging there but it's all good you also see the side view of the triple landing bogey gears i'll give you a better user view of those later on okay all right now you're looking at the front of the aircraft where you got a better visual view of the cockpit windows the windshield wipers right there the peter tubes right below the cockpit windows and the windshield wipers the actual nose cone the nose gear door the nose gear lights inside of the nose gear door nose gear struts as well as the front actual nose gears okay all right now you're looking at the front engines front of the engines here on the starboard side see the engine strikes there and there and the turbo fan blade spin over here just as well see awesome and then you slide over here see the inboard landing lights you see displayed there as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears here on the starboard side featuring landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now you got a better visual view of the front, uh, visual view of these landing gears here. There's the landing gears here, the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear door. And then there's the center bogey gears right there, including the landing gear struts, all right? All right, now looking at the, uh, the wingtip device here on this, uh, 
side of the aircraft, but there's the red navigation lights right there. And this high-tech wingtip device is actually called a wingtip fence. And the purpose of this wingtip fence is to maximize and increase efficiency at the same time by reducing vortex interference with the laminar airflow near the tips of the wing by moving the confluence of low pressure slash over wing and high pressure slash under wing air away from the surface of the wing of the aircraft. Okay? And then you see the ANA uh, billboard tie right there. Um, on the uh, the wingtip device. Now I'm gonna show you the ANA uh, billboard on the other side of the wingtip device as well. Check it out. Now you see the ANA billboard tied on the, on that side of the wingtip fence, wingtip device. Awesome. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side where you see the Japanese flag decal right here by the ANA Inspiration of Japan slogan right there. And this flag decal actually represents the country where ANA All Japan Airways currently operates from as one of the major flag carrier airlines for the country of Japan. Now you slide over here, you see the ANA Inspiration of Japan slogan decal you see displayed there. And this is the company slogan of ANA All Japan Airways, which was introduced and implemented on April 19, 2010, when the service brand was first introduced on its Boeing 777-300ER jetliner aircraft that was first launched on its Los Angeles to Tokyo Narita and San Francisco routes, as well as its European routes shortly thereafter, for the sole purpose of renewing its international products and services that will sustain for months and years to come with the motto, an innovative, original, unique, and inspired by modern Japan, okay? And then you see the nice little turtle there, you know, the Hawaiian turtle there displayed on this aircraft, awesome. And then right underneath to that turtle is the registration ship number, JA381A. Registration ship number, JA381A. This aircraft is the first of three Airbus A380s that entered the ANA fleet, as well as the first ANA All Nippon Airways Airbus A380-800 jetliner aircraft that was actually painted in the specialized flying Hanu slash sea turtle livery scheme and the first test flight on this aircraft took place on September 17, 2018 and was finally delivered to ANA All Nippon Airways on March 20, 2019. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the port side still, where you see the ANA billboard tile displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft. The strobe light, as well as the APU auxiliary power unit is also right there. There is a hole right there you see there, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Check it out. There it is. Awesome. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the front nose gears right here, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door featuring the partial registration ship number you see displayed there, 381, the Peter 2s, the static ports, the nose cone, the Peter 2s there, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the cargo container loading door right there, the star lines decal, and the inboard landing light you see there on displayed on the edge of the wing. All right, we have the center of the aircraft here on the starboard side. When you're looking at the Rolls-Royce Trent 970 type engines, on this side of the aircraft featuring the engine cones right there, as well as right there. Now you're looking at the, um, let me, please. Now you're looking at the, uh, the green navigation lights displayed here, as well as the, uh, the, um, the wingtip device, which is called the uh, wingtip fence, you see displayed there, as well as the ANA billboard title, you see displayed on the wingtip fence. All right. Now, you're looking at a side view of these landing gears here on the starboard side, you see there, including the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear door. And then you're looking at the triple landing bogey gears here, the center bogey gears here on the side of this aircraft, featuring the landing gear struts. Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the uh, rear cargo container loading door, the FT bolt bin door, the Hawaiian turtle, the Hawaiian turtle seat display there, the red train ship number, the Japanese flag decal, the inspiration of Japan and a slogan decal you see displayed there, as well as the NA billboard tile displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft and the APU exhaust displayed on this side as well. There and there. Alright. 
Okay, before I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, I'm going to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears, which rolls pretty good. It tilts, and the nose gear swivels as well. You see there, there, and there. Okay, so with no further ado, allow me to show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model. Let's check it out. Now I'm looking at the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model. We're going to start at the front. You see here, you see the nose cone, the Peter tubes, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. And then you see another uh, right there. Then you slide right there. Another antenna. The Wi-Fi uh, antenna. The dual uh, anti colliding beacon lights. The ADF antenna in 3D. Another antenna. And then you come up this way, there's the, another antenna, then there's the tail right there. And the horizontal stabilizer right there, as well as over here. And you see a little dot right there, as well as over here. Those are called illuminated lights, and the purpose of these illuminated lights is to light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the wings. No wing walkway, but you got the little warning information on the wings as well as the flaps, slats, aileron sports, what have you. The fuel dump valve you see there. And then you see the uh, engines right there. As well as the uh, wingtip fins that's playing the NA billboard on this side as well. Now look at on this side here. Warning information, no wing walkway, you got the flaps, slats, aileron spoils, what have you. Fuel dump valve, the Japanese decal right there, the engines, as well as the upper wingtip device featuring the NA billboard uh, logo on this side of the wingtip fence as well. All right, now looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model, we're gonna start at the front here, the nose cone, the closed nose gear door, the open nose gear door, as well as the front nose gear. Then you see the ANA, inspiration of Japan, uh, slogan display at the belly of the aircraft you see there, the anti-collision beacon light, the hole where the stand goes in at, and then we talking about the center bogey gears over here. Tilt. Tilt, yeah, that's a little challenge on that one. That's all right though. And then you come back over here, the APU housing door as well as the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears here on the wings. Pretty pressing. As well as the flaps, slats, aileron spoils, what have you. The fuel dump valve, the registration ship number, the engines right there. As well as the lower part of the uh, wingtip fence, wingtip device on here as well. Let's check out over here. Perfect. As well as the flap, slats, aileron spores, what have you. Fuel dump valve, the Jap Japanese flag decal right there. The lower part of the uh, wingtip fence, as well as the engines as well. All right. Since I'll show you the aerial bird's eye view of that aircraft model as well as the undercarriage belly view of that aircraft model, now I'm going to put it on that little model stand I showed you earlier. So with no further ado everyone, here is the model on the stand. Check it out. Okay, fine got it on the stand with no hesitation as you see it being displayed in the takeoff landing position being viewed from the port side. Now you see this model being displayed on the stand in a takeoff landing position being viewed from the front view angle of the aircraft. Now you're seeing this model being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model and stand being displayed from the starboard side. And finally you're seeing this model being displayed with the model and stand being in a takeoff landing position being displayed from the tail cam angle. Okay, before I take this model to stand, I got in this position for a reason, and the reason is that the magnetic gears that came with this model, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them off, start with the front nose gear, you see here, there, gears here, there, the center bogey gear on this side, 
there. The gears here on the starboard side. There. And the bogey gears here, the center bogey gear on this side as well. There, okay. So, since I got all the gears off this model, I'm going to let you see this model at a different angle in flight mode position without the gears. Check it out. Now you're seeing this model being displayed without the gears in, in, in flight position with the model on the stand. Now you got one or two options how you want to display your model. Option number one, if you want to continue to display it like this, that's fine. Now you see these uh, gear replacement doors inside this bag that I showed you earlier. That's the purpose of the gear replacement door is to substitute your gears while you display your model like this in flight mode position. Or you can keep it in the gear down position. That's the other option with the gears on there. Gears up, gear down, your choice. I choose to leave mine on there because it adds more value to the model. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and put these gears back on this model, take this model stand, and go ahead and wrap up this model with you, all right? All right, let's talk about the seating configuration. The ANA all Nippon Airways Airbus A380-800 jet passenger jetliner aircraft seats 520 passengers in a four-class configurate cabin layout. Here's the breakdown, everyone, from rows one and two, which is on the upper deck, which will be from here to here. You have eight first-class suites, and then rows five to 18, which is also on the upper deck, which will be from here to about right here. You have 56 business-class seats, and rows 21 to 30, which is also the upper deck, which will be from here to here. You have 73 premium economy class seats and rows 35 to 76, which is the entire lower main deck, which will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have an additional 383 economy class seats, which brings a total to 520 seats. And finally, ANA All Nippon Airways currently utilizes their Airbus A380s exclusively from Tokyo Narita International Airport in Tokyo, Japan to Daniel K. Inui International Airport in Honolulu, Hawaii exclusively. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I'd like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting it. The only outside chance of getting this model at this point is through eBay. Other than that, you're pretty much out of luck. So with that said, take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.